in the last lecture we learned about multicast delegates now in this lecture let's understand the use of multicast delegate so if you remember in the last lecture i mentioned that we use multicast delegate for implementing observer design pattern or publish subscribe design pattern so what actually is this publish subscribe design pattern in a publish subscribe design pattern we have a publisher and we have some subscribers in this example this video class is the publisher and these classes this email service class sms service class and automated call service class these three classes are the subscribers now let's say this video class which is the publisher it is responsible for uploading the video so when the video is completely uploaded the subscribers are interested in knowing that so that they can execute some logic after the video is completely uploaded okay so when the video is completely uploaded this video class which is the publisher it is responsible for notifying these subscribers about that event all right so when the video is completely uploaded it is kind of an event and when that event happens this publisher is responsible for notifying the subscribers about that and once the subscriber receives the notification they can execute some logic for example this email service it can send an email to all the users notifying them that the video is completely uploaded in the same way this sms service is responsible for sending an sms to all the users and this automated call service it is responsible for sending an automated call to the users telling them that the video is completely uploaded and this is what publish subscribe design pattern is here these three classes are the observers and this video class is the emitter it is the publisher okay so let's see how we can implement this publish subscribe design pattern using multicast delegates so here first of all i am going to create two subscribers the email service subscriber and the sms service subscriber so here let me create a class i will call it email service and inside this class i'll simply create a method the return type of this method is going to be void and let's call this method send email okay and this method is not going to take any parameters and from within this i will simply log a message saying that sending email in the same way let's go ahead and let's create sms service class so add class and let's call it sms service and in there also i'm going to create a method i'll call it send sms the return type here is going to be void and it is not going to take any parameter and in there let's say sending sms okay so here we have created two subscribers the email service subscriber and the sms service subscriber now let's go ahead and let's create the publisher so for the publisher i'm going to create a new class and i will call it video for this video class i'm going to have a property of type string and i'll call it name then let me also go ahead and let me create a constructor for this class so video this is going to take a parameter of type string and i will call it name and in there i will simply set this name property with the value which we are receiving for this name parameter all right now let's go ahead and let's create a method which is responsible for uploading the video so here let me create a method it is going to return nothing so the return type is going to be void and i will call it upload video in there let's simply provide a console.write line and there let's say uploading video then let's use thread.sleep now in order to use this thread class we need to import system.threading okay and here let's say thread.sleep and let's make this program sleep for thousand milliseconds all right and after thousand milliseconds let's say the video is completely uploaded so i will copy this console.write line statement here let's use it here and let's say video uploaded now once the video is completely uploaded we want to notify the subscribers how we will do that for that let me go ahead and let me create a delegate here so to create a delegate we use delegate keyword and let's call it on video uploaded. 
okay and this delegate is not going to take any parameters and the return type is also going to be void now why i am using this void return type here and why i am not passing any parameters because what we want is we want this delegate to point to this method the send email method of email service and the send sms method of sms service okay so for these two methods the return type is void and it is not taking any parameter that's why here the delegate which i am creating there also the return type is void and it is not going to take any parameter now inside this video class let's go ahead and let's instantiate this on video uploaded delegate okay and let's simply call it on video uploaded okay now here i'm simply creating a reference variable i'm not instantiating it here i'm simply creating a reference variable of type on video uploaded now what i'm going to do is once the video is completely uploaded i'm going to call this okay so whenever the video is completely uploaded we are calling this on video uploaded delegate now this on video uploaded delegate will call all the methods to which it is pointing to currently it is not pointing to any method right so let's go to program class here here let me first go ahead and let me create an instance of this video class i'll call it video and the constructor of this video is taking one string parameter so here we need to pass a name for the video let's call it maybe test okay so here we are instantiating the video class now let's also go ahead and let's instantiate the email service class and let's simply call it email service okay and let's also instantiate sms service all right now what we want is we want to make this email service and this sms service subscribe to this video class for that we are going to use multicast delegate so here in this video class we have a delegate called on video upload so here let me go to this video class and let me make this delegate public okay so here we have this on video uploaded delegate so in the program class let's say video dot on video uploaded and here i'm going to use this plus equal to operator and from the email service we have this send email method okay so now what is happening is this on video uploaded delegate of this video class is now pointing to the send email method of this email service class in the same way let's say video dot on video uploaded and now we want to make this sms service subscribe to this video class so now in this sms service we have this send sms method so here this on video uploaded is also pointing to the send sms method of this sms service okay so here we are using multicast delegate right here the same delegate is pointing to two different methods right now all we have to do is we have to call this upload video method of this video class so in the program class let's go ahead and let's call the upload video method of video class now what will happen here here when this upload video method of this video class will be called inside that method first we are logging this message uploading video then we are waiting for one second and then we are saying video uploaded and once the video is uploaded we are calling this on video upload delegate this delegate right now this delegate here it is pointing to send email method and the send sms method of these two services so when we are calling this on video uploaded it is going to call this method the send email method of email service and the send sms method of sms service let's see that in action so let me go ahead and let me run this program and here you will see uploading video after one second video uploaded and then sending email and sending sms so once the video was uploaded the email service and sms service class were notified and in there the event handler methods were executed here the send sms is an event handler method because once the event happens in this case once the video is uploaded it is going to execute this method 
in the same way inside this email service this send email is an event handler function because once the event has happened this function will be executed this method will be executed and one more thing to note here is that if you see this email service and the sms service are the subscriber of this video class but in the video class we are not instantiating either the email service class or the sms service class so these three classes are not tightly coupled right so this is how we implement observer pattern or publish subscribe pattern in c sharp in our example this video class is the publisher and this sms service and the email sub service are the subscribers and the publisher and subscribers are independent of each other and whenever the publisher class completes a task it is going to notify the subscribers and how we are notifying the subscriber by using multicast delegate now one more thing to keep in mind here is that the subscription should happen before the task starts in this example the task is to upload the video so when we are uploading the video before that only the services should subscribe to this video class because if we go ahead and if we subscribe after the task is complete when this task is happening that means when the video is uploading and when we are going to call this on video uploaded by that time none of the methods has been subscribed to this on video uploaded delegate right after this task is complete then only we are going to subscribe it so in that case nothing will happen the subscriber will not be notified so the subscription should always happen before the task starts so this is all from this lecture i hope with this example now you understand what is the use of a multicast delegate now we can also achieve the same thing using events in c sharp so in the next lecture let's go ahead and let's understand what are events in c sharp and how we can create and use an event and then we will understand the difference between events and multicast delegates this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day